Okay, so this is 3428. Um, just for reference, that's about a thousand boats earlier than the Ian Sampson Albacore and about 1300 boats earlier than the Flying Pig. Um, just a quick walk around. So the hull is dirty, um, but there are really no noticeable damage. There's a little ding in the bow that's easily fixed. Uh, gel coat is faded, which can be buffed out. There's a cleat there and one on, not one on the other side. That cleat's got to come out. Uh, as I say, the hull is dirty. Um, we'll just do our walk around here. So it's got transom flaps. It's got a modern uh, rudder retaining clip. That's solid. The uh, rear bung is missing, as always. A little gel coat nudge on the bottom. Looks like they may have originally had a turning block back there, one on either side. Other than the rivets rusting for reasons beyond me. Um, the hull is in, as I say, um, pretty good shape. It's dirty, it needs to be cleaned. All right, looking at the underside, um, again, no visible damage. The stern area. It needs going to need a new slot rubber. Centerboard looks to be in good shape. Again, looking down the hull, no visible damage. Bow here. Again, there's that little ding, but other than being dirty, there's really nothing that I'm seeing in terms of damage to the hull. There's just there's nothing. Anything that's there will buff out. And as in the cockpit floor, so the seams are in good shape. There's been a repair job there. Appears to be well done. It's funny, a lot of the skeins are like that. There's a little bit of a something starting here. I think we will fix that just to be on the safe side. Rear cockpit bungs appear to be there. Another little mooring cleat that's got to come out. And on the other side, again. Hull seems in good shape. And again, just by the centerboard trunk, uh, there's been a minor repair. And appears to have been professionally done. And the mast step is in good shape. Interestingly, there's no um, bow tank plug for the floor. Beyond being dirty. So all this speckly stuff, this flaky stuff, is all white paint. Where he's painted the uh, floor of the cockpit and it's all flaking off. I think just power washing it will probably strip that off. Question of whether we put gel coat on top because it appears that the gel coat has worn off over time, not surprisingly. And again, it's not damaged, that's just it's just flaking white paint with gel coat showing through or base resin coat showing through it underneath the gel coat. Um, 
So the hiking straps are new, but rather oddly unevenly mounted. You'll see the difference here at the front, but they're brand new. And at the back, and the reason for that is because um, this join was not made evenly. So got to uh, undo that join and just uh, move the, this, the starboard strap back a couple of inches. All right, so let's take a look. Um, so we have Lee Sales, maker of Fines Menware and also Sales. Um, I mean, they're serviceable, but they wouldn't stay on this boat. You notice the traditional high cut uh, jib, look at the distance off the deck on this thing. That's got to be close to a foot. Um, mainsail also is kind of weird. Well, I mean, it's an albacore mainsail, but it's got no shape to it really. So we replace the sails. We've got sails. Um, this boat has proctor spars, like uh, the Brad Hayden boat. Um, and we kept the Proctor mast on the Hayden boat. Uh, I would be inclined to just replace this one because I want to put a, uh, just a stronger boom on it. Um, so the bang is a fairly aggressive bang. This boat has been rigged with center sheeting, so you can see the um, there's the main sheet block, but it goes to a uh, center block here instead of, as we now do, a, tri a bridle at the back. So instead of the main sheet running along the boom and then down and out, it's going to dig dig. The problem with this is that unless you have a really stiff boom, all it does is just bend the boom. You don't get really any control, so we would change that. And what we would do, these are all beautiful Harkin uh, carbomatic blocks. So we'll take them off this boom when we put the new boom on. And what we would also do is take this block off here and mount it back out here on the end of the boom um, with a standard bridle. Uh, so the other interesting thing, well, not interesting, but traditional thing. So you see the way the jib tracks have been mounted up here on the deck and on modern albacores they're basically down in here they run along here uh, the measurement's actually 17 and a half inches out from the center line and eight feet forward from the stern so these guys are way outboard and way far back so we we'll just take these off we'll have to uh, uh, insert a uh, uh, an inspection port and then uh, put a mounting block underneath and then bolt these in and we would take these cleats so this all disassembles so we would leave the fair lead here take the cleats off and move the cleats to here the reason for that is that placed here you can't get the crew weight forward so we move the cleat up to here and then crew can place their weight there the centerboard looks to be in good shape actually relatively new um, got enough haul down haul range which is kind of weird because it's got this fair lead here that probably originally was set up with just um, just a uh, one single line um, mast up as I say looks good there it is no hole for the Cunningham. Mr. Lee forgot to put a hole in for the Cunningham on these sails and therefore there is no Cunningham. And the outhaul is actually something I put on before the boat left before that we would change to a standard outhaul. The only other thing that immediately obvious to me is the, um, so it has a single, it has a rope, solid rope uh, jib halyard so there's no, no ability to tension the rig. So that needs a high field lever uh, as we put on the other boats and a rope to wire halyard. But if we're changing the mass, um, that's about it. Uh, do we have balers? 
Okay, we do not have balers in this boat. No balers. Let's finally have balers if, if a guy wants to add them. It does have the transom flaps, which work pretty well. And that's about it. There's really not much to this boat that, that needs to be done. And uh, this is the rudder. Really standard beaver tail rudder. It's in good shape. Barton head. That's solid. The odd thing is this tiller extension. That can't have been stock. So somebody replaced that. Certainly the tiller extension is not stock. It's got dual controls up haul and down haul. So we would just replace that with just standard. It's like the tiller got left out in the side in the boat. But they brought the rudder in. Go figure. Anyways, I, I think what we would do, that's pretty weathered, so I can't find a replacement. Uh, I think we would paint it. And that's that.